Bago pa man natin buksan ang ating second quarter, meron mo nang papakita sa atin si Papa Dong. Kung mag pinag pa natin yung assist ng uh, Barangay Hinebra. Look at this play. Off that inbound, Elliot and Oro, they'll spread the floor. And you look at Jeffers, he will try to attack that gap. But if you pause it right here, makikita mo nag-reacting depensa ng starter right there. But look at the big man. Greg Slaughter is wide open here. And they'll have to extend out to be able to defend that. Then Jaffa Aguilar will go for that backdoor play, for that three-point play. Roll this play, please. Kita mo yung Twin Towers working the defense of the Star Hotshots. Na out assist ng Hinebra etong star in the first quarter, 7-3. Para sa tagisan, ang tunay na lakas, Cobra. Gusto ko ba, pero ngayon, apat na ang assist na itong Hotshots dahil James Yap located Alain Maliksi dun sa kanang kanto to open up the scoring with a 3. 29-27 na nasa ating talaan. Ayan nga po yung tres na ito ni Alain. Hatid sa atin ng Oppo F1 Selfie Expert. Itong si Coach Jason Webb, ah. extended minutes for James Young, Denzel Bowles, Mark Pingris, and the Peter, Peter Jun Simon. Basically playing them the entire, almost the entire first quarter. Itong si PJ Simon lang, uh, nga hindi niya binigyan ng buong 12 minutes. Pero ito, binalik din niya kagad si PJ Simon. Pinagpahinga muna si James Young. Pakakasama ni PJ, sinasangga lang. Melton, Maliksi, and Pascual. As Jeffers will get a three-point play opportunity. Barangay Hinebra just finding the gaps in the defense. Ano eh, nakikita nila na kapag uh, yung defense na itong star, if they're not able to talk and communicate, it's going to be difficult for them. Because also, itong uh, Barangay Hinebra, alam nila kung nasan yung mga kakampi nila eh. Nakakompleto ni Jeffers yung three-point play. To push their lead back up to five. Kasama niya sa side sina Mercado, Ellis, Devans, and Thompson. Nakapiling itong si Alain Maliksi. 11.06 remaining sa ating first half. Mag-umarjan po kasama natin si Dominic Coy. Nandi rito rin si Ms. Riza Diaz at ang buong kwersa ng inyong Sports 5. Nakatutok sa 2016 OPPO PPA Commissioner's Cup Edition ng inyong Manila Classico. Pascual fouled on the rebound play by Chris Ellis. Big disparity in the statistics in the first quarter. The star hotshot shooting four out of five from that three-point area. So really relying on the outside. Pero ito naman Barangay Hinebra getting a lot of open looks from the inside. They have six second chance points off four offensive rebounds. Alala mo yung rebounding statistics na pinakita natin at the beginning of the ballgame na kaya nanali yung star hotshots. In the first quarter, only five rebounds for the star hotshots. 13 para sa Barangay Hinebra. Mercado over at the other end. Can't sit over to Thompson. The soul train. Back to Jeffers. Devon slurking on the outside. Jeffers attacks Pascual Caso. Binabang kanyang baliga. That's an offensive foul. That's what you want. Jake Pascual taking Jeffers one on one and even getting an offensive foul. Unang personal yan para dito kay Uthias Jeffers. Melton nagtawit ng bola. Pickmouth still scoreless in this game. Gets it over to Maliksi. Alain thought about the three. Bounces it over to Sangalang. Melton from top of the key. No go. Jeffers para sa board. Nagmamadali itong si Ellis. A little too fast for his own good. Great help by Justin Melton. Yun yung kinakailangan ng star hotshots. There will be miscommunications, right? Kinakailangan yung extra effort. Nung nakita na, uy, may iwanan yung kakampi ko kahit na hindi ako yung dapat eh, pumelt ka na rin para lang madelay. That will give the star hotshots a chance to inch closer once again. Simon contra Mercado. Doon sa poste, tutulong si Ellis. Alig si, flyby move. Babalik kay PJ. Hindi nga lang, napauwi yung press na yan. If you're the star hotshots, okay lang din yun because that was really unselfish play by Alain Maliksi. Up! Diretso kay PJ yung bola. PJ on the move to the cup. Hindi nag-aamu yan. Sinasangka lang at Melton sa rebound play. There have been two occasions that they could have given an extra pass off the pass break. Una kanina kay Baroka, ngayon kay PJ. Ayun yun, libre-libre itong si Ian Sanggalang and Justin Melton. Especially if ito si Sanggalang. Then ang laki niya eh. Ellis over to Thompson. Jeffers asking for it. Pascual right there with him. Devance from D. No good. Lima pa rin. Ang binubuno dito ng Star Hotshots. Maliksi. 
Lost his dribble. Move with the Shaka Sangalang. Pasqual will keep it on that side of the floor. Fresh 14 for a star. Pasqual doesn't care. He gets the finger roll. Huge, huge minutes for Jake Pasqual. He was able to stop Jeffers early on. And now he has an offensive rebound. Na, na kagulo yung play na yun, ha? They were looking for Maliksi but not able to set him up properly. Giving Stars coaching staff the luxury of resting bowls even more. But ito, ibabalik na ni Coach Tim Coe naman. Si Greg Slaughter, tignan natin paano magre-react ang star. Oh, Theus Jeffers with five points across his number. Coming off a scintillating scoring performance. Doon nakaraan na kung saan niya. E na unti-unti yung buong katawan niya ng Extra Rice Incorporated hanggang sa pagdating ng tuloy, bumigay na ilikot niya. Oh, pero makikita mo ngayon, ano pa rin eh, oh, na may nararamdaman pa rin siya. Medyo stiff pa na. Oh. And you know, that will, that will hurt as the game progresses. Because of yung mapapagod ka, natatamaan, and the back spasms, basically, the only cure for that is to rest. Melton on the attack, gets it to Ian, and could not sneak it through. Jeffers with the board, and he's pushing hard. Otheus to Sol. Back to Thompson. No. Maliksi dito sa kabilang dulo. He's going up against two. Nakita si Ian dun sa ilalim for the two points. One of the guys that Coach Jason Webb is really hoping that he'll get his game back. Itong si Ian Sangalang. If you remember, nung nag-grand slam itong uh, star hotshots, Ian Sangalang in that second group was always solid. That's Mercado gets a reverse layup underneath. Nice pass issue there by Jeffers. Is si Ian Sangalang was the number two overall pick just behind Greg Slaughter nung sila'y pumasok deep sa BBA. Yan ang kalidad ng Ian. Pangatlo nun si Raymond Almazan ng Raider Shine. What a... Big man rich draft class that was, ano? Bibihira mangyari yun. Simon comes up with nothing but air. Ito na ang barangay na ito, up by five. Jeffers on the attack, gets into Ellis. Three-pointer is good! Atin pa rin sa atin, ng Popo F1 selfie expert. In the paint. Okay, we gotta stop the ones in the paint. I need a little bit more pressure with the guards. Okay? Coming down. That was part of this Ginebra run to give them this eight-point lead. Limang minuto na ang lumiliba sa ating second frame. Pascual dun sa poste, lalabas kay Melton. Traveling ang pinito dun pa lang sa pasa ni Jake. Masakit yun ha, kasi coming off that timeout, natawagan agad ng traveling itong star hot shots. And with an eight-point lead, you don't want Barangay Ginebra to just keep going at Kung maalala mo, Magu, ha? matagal nang nakaupo itong si L.A. Tenorio. So you know when he gets back, lumaki pa na magapa tong kalamangan ng Barangay Hinebra. So the second group of Barangay Hinebra doing a very good job. Thompson is with Mercado, Ellis, Aguilar, and Slaughter. Katapat sina. Bolts, Maliksi, Melton, Simon, and Sangalang. Ang mga nakapula, naghahanap ng buta sa depensa netong star. They go to the corner, it is Thompson with seven to try and generate a shot. Scotty to Ellis, three-pointer on the way. That's good! Back-to-back three-pointers by Air Force Ellis. Opens up an 11-point lead para dito sa Inebra. It's deadly when Chris Ellis is all of a sudden, you know, knocking down threes. Because you have to extend out. Usually you want him to, him to be taking those threes because he's so athletic that he can't get to the basket. And you, so play, you, and you play the numbers. Oh. The guy in their first uh, three games, 
25% shooting lang from the three point line. So, di ba? You play the numbers, you leave the guy who's shooting awful open. Oh, mas gusto mo nang tumira siya ng three point shot. Kesa sumaksak siya. Bulls may tanga ng bola. Naipit sa baseline. Pupunta kay PJ. Pinawi kagad ni Peter Jones. Gotta love how they're looking for their shooters via on the outside. PJ Simon, Alain Maliksi, and even James Yap early on. Ellis, ayan na. Gustong atakin. Ito si Maliksi. Slaughter, flashing, gets it to jump and baseline jumper, no good. Bowls para sa board. Walo ang abante ng barangay Nebra. Bowls gets it over to Simon. PJ puts his head down. Nadulas yung pivot sa kanyang big. Mawawarning ang payata dito si Simon. You know what? I like it. That the players are getting warned a lot these days. Bakit? Eh kasi nga, hindi mo naman mababago yung tawag ka re-reklamo. Mineta. Makikita ng mga batang nanonood ngayon sa bahay. Eh pagka pinito na sa'yo, tama na. O sige ha. Tumipensa ka na lang. Sige ha. Mamaya doon sa laro mamaya, hindi ka rin pwede mag-reklamo ha. Si Jat Sulit yun. Mahilig. Yeah, but it's you know, the referee's decision is final. So you want that the referees take control and make everybody know, especially the players, that, hey, akin to, maglaro ka na lang. And that keeps it in uniform with the international competition. Sa FIBA naman, bawal kang umiyak sa ref, eh, di ba? Bulls may tangan. Chapet trying to keep in front. Denzel runs into a brick wall the Twin Towers of Inebra. Baroga trying to battle for it, but it ends up with Thompson. Scotty, he won ya para kay Chapet. The ball makes its way over to Greg. Sa ilalim ni Scotty Thompson pero hindi tumama sa ring. Eli Sulit, di magkuha ng kanyang pangatlo. Denzel Bowles only with two points so far in this basketball game. At wala pa siya masadong attempt from the outside, ah. So good defense by the big man of Barangay Nebra. Alexi was trying to feed, I think, Denzel. Di ngalan sa mga kain tindi yon don. Was that a shot? Parang pase, eh. Mas mo ang pasa eh. Thompson to Aguilar. Ellis is open. Does not want to pull the trigger. Slaughter from the elbow. Mintis pa rin. And then it's Pinkris who comes out of the scrum. Nakita si PJ on the run. Maligsi is open. You know, Alain Maligsi, his time has come in the PBA. We've seen him, you know, have spurts in a number of teams, di ba? Ano eh, nakita mo na yung kaya niya gawin. Slowed down by injuries, playing behind certain players. But I feel, Alain Maliksi, this will be his breakout conference. You gotta remember, this guy was once upon a time a PBA D-League MVP. Merong saksak, merong tiro sa labas. Grabe yung potential neto ni Alain, but he ends up giving up the foul. Tapos binangga siya ni Ellis. Dalawa silang nataga ng technical. There you go, this is what we're talking about. The referee is taking control of the game. No shenanigans, no extra for regular Wala activities. Na. Hindi na nila pinapabayaan maburo pa, di ba? They're right away cutting it para the players will now focus just on the basketball game. And you like how the yung resulta nun, nung nakaraan, itong si Chris Ross at si Terrence Romeo, just this past week, they kept going hard at each other all game long. Na warningan, pero pagdating ng dulo, respect, nagyakapan. That was a pretty hard foul by Alain Maliksi, so hindi nagustuhan ni Chris Ellis yun. You know, just both teams wanting so much to win this game. Pang makuha yung kanilang pangalawang panalo. Bakit nga naman hindi, Dom? Tandaan natin, ha? Labin isang game lang kada team dito sa elimination round ng ating Commissioner's Cup. Only the top eight will make it to the playoffs. Apat po ang matatakal, di ba? Bigat mo. Isa kayo, ni. As Greg Slaughter flushes this one through, itong dalawang ang kukuna na to, they want to climb out of the bottom. You can't have that. You cannot have Greg Slaughter getting a rebound like that and just slamming it down your throats because nakakabastos yun, meaning hindi na paglabanan yung rebound. Panik ulit siya siya, mga bante ng Ginebra, 46-37. Bowles, gusto rin mo sa malampak sa kabilang dulo. He'll have to earn his points from the line. And you like how Denzel Bowles went strong for that basket. We take another look at what went down. Kanina, hirap to na papabanda mo mula sa kanto. 
Pero napaganda dahil dire-diretso sa kami ni Greg Zilla. Tsaka alam mo kung hindi ni Greg Slaughter yun, makukuha ni Japet Aguilar. Eh. They had position on uh, the star hotshot. So the big men of the star hotshots needing to do a much better job of blocking out. Bowles goes two for two. Apat na puntos na para sa kanya as we get this report from Reza. Magu scared and excited. Ang mga mixed feelings si Denzel Bowles facing Coach Tim for the first time today. Tandaan natin si Coach Tim ang nag-recruit sa kanya after seeing him play with the same college na pinupuntahan ng anak ni Coach Tim. Kung 22 years old pa nga lang siya nun. So basically, si Coach Tim daw ang nagtuloy sa kanya kung paano talaga maglaro sa pros. Ang sabi ni Denzel, he's out to give out his best performance to make Coach Tim, which always been family to him proud. Magu. Yun niya, no? Mentor mo, tatay-tatayan mo, pero yung trabaho mo, ita lunin siya, parang ma mahirap nga pagkakaroon. Oh, mahirap yun, but the greatest compliment that you can give to your mentor is to play your hardest and play your best against him. Bulls saves it out. Alexi didn't want to pull the trigger. Ito na si TJ. And Peter Joe Simon now has 14 points. PJ Simon, huge, huge. Four three-point shots para sa kanya so far in this basketball game. And you like how Alain Maliksi is the highest local scorer for the Star Hot Shots, but he's rotating that ball. Sa ganda ng nilalaro ni Pisimon at Maliksi, it has kept James Yap on that Star bench. Jamit Aguilar naman, babawi ng dos sa kanilang dulo. Wala na po dalawang minuto natitira sa ating first half. Barocca with a one-hander. That's good! Those are the things that Barocca will have to do. Once uh, Denzel Bowles comes out, you can use him as a screen if it's not a screen. But if it is a screen, you go hard to that basket, you make the defense of Barangay Ginebra react. Babasa ani mga bantay ng Barangay Ginebra. Devance to Sakato, Japet, pinag-isipan yung tres, gustong ilapet. Alabas muna kay JDB. Jeffers over to Thompson. Bam! What ball movement once again by Ginebra. Kung kanina nakita natin yung ball movement between the big men, that time, the ball movement by the wingmen. And the unang statistic na pinakita natin at the beginning of the ball game, yung spread out na assists of the team. Yeah. The entire team sharing that basketball, finding their open teammate. A minute and 11 remaining in this first half. Time out for the time. I can go, I can go, I can go. You gotta keep making and make that extra pass, fellas. But we've got to work hard to scramble and chase it out. Tandaan po natin ha, that the player with the most yes shouts by the end of the game will be the Shouter's Choice Player of the Game to be announced on sports5.ph after the game. Sa ngayon, it is James Yap leading Mark Agiwa over at sports5.ph. PH. Mga kapatid, gusto nyo ba ng kakaibang viewing experience? Mag-download at mag-register na sa Cinco Panalo app at alamin sa March 2 ang pinakabagong sorpresa natin ng inyong PB TV5. 53-44 ang nasa ating talaan. Itong uh, Barangay Nebra. Eh, lamang pa rin dito ng Sham. We take a look at the top brass of your PBA enjoying all of the action from inside a smart arena. Pinakamalaking ngiti doon si Sir Oh! Ho, 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 ho! What execution off a timeout! And once again, a bit of miscommunication for the star hot shots. That was just too easy for Barangay Ginebra. My goodness! Mahigpit pa mga pako at tornilyo sa bubong netong Big Dome. Munti kang makalas, munti kang sumabog ang bubong ng Big Dome. Aguilar completes that three-point play to push their lead back up to 12. A lot of highlights for Barangay in Ebra in the first 24 minutes. Denzel! Now scores his sixth point of the game. It's been a slow first half so far, Parque Bulls. Well, you want him to be a little bit more aggressive. You like him to take it a little bit stronger to the hoop. You know, he's been deferring to his teammates, passing that ball. They've gotten a lot of uh, outside shots, but you, you'll need him to score as well if you want a big chance of winning this ball game. Making him scoring, LA misses. Nakabalik na pala. Ito si Tonorio. Melton sa kabila. Fearless on that drive. Contra kay Devance. Pingris was bottled up. Si L.A. ang pinituan ng foul. 
You know what was more impressive than the rebound? Dito si Mark Mingris. Hindi na mo ilang barangay hine para yung nakababasa depensa. That was trying to get that defensive rebound. And the effort, obviously, so far in the first 23 and a half minutes, you gotta give it to Barangay Hinebra. Bingris takes care of the first free throw. Mapala. We have some very special guests coming up at the half. Fantaserie King Richard Gutierrez in Empoy mula sa pinakaaabangang bagong serie ngayon, ang Panday. We, ha we had a chance to see the pilot episode yesterday at napakaganda po talaga. Tiyak namin mag -e enjoy po ang buong pamilya. We'll learn more about it when we talk with some of the cast members during the half. Ano yung paborito mong eksena doon sa pilot? Ako yung pagwasiwas niya nung spada niya. Parang gusto ko ako na yung na Panday. Kala ko, ka ikaw yung saksakit. <laughs> Ang ganda na Pero ang ganda, ang ganda. Kakaibang panda ito. Oo. Kakaiba. You play bad one game, tapos ang season mo. Disgrasya na. Star on the attack. Patay na ating shot clock. They can offer the last possible attempt of this first half. Gusto nilang lumapit pa ng bagya. They are down by eight. Denzel with a pull up. Wala. Sheffers with a board. Parang napaaga ka nilang tira. May pagkakataon pang Ginebra. Sheffers on the attack. Will fake off Melton. Trying to draw contact. Malik C will secure that ball. Jeffers is complaining, but that'll do it. Para sa ating first half. Oh, what a great show by Barangay Hinebra in the first 24 minutes of action. A lot of highlights. And the highlights are coming because of their unselfishness and their effort. Ang ganda na kanila pinapakita. Been so easy for Jafet Aguilar. Yung 15 points niya, lahat yun halos nakadikit na sa ring. Aguilar has been dropping and jumping in it. Like it's hot, and he has helped his team to an eight-point lead, 56-48.